Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we- Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! Jesus, dude. Anyways, in the last episode, we, uh, we explored our new level and got a bunch of items. In this episode, we're gonna explore more to get more items. I am crazy Kirby97, and, um, I need some kind of intro better than that to use every day. But still. Me too, too. I don't know that. Now, be careful to not mess this up or you're gonna have to reload the level and that's gonna suck. And really, I suggest you do everything else before you come back to this if you fail. Fucking eat it! Thank you! Go up here. And jump up here. Plus one hot of any color. Pretty jiggy. We're almost done here. Let me make sure I got all my jiggy stuff in order. Uh, we might want to go down here first, though. Because there is a jiggy right here. And that was an easy jiggy. That was one of the top 10 easiest jiggies in this game, definitely. Very, 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 very easy. There's one of these. There's these. There's these. And all the rest. There's, there's none left. If anyone's watched my uh, really good LP before I deleted it, you'll remember this part where I'm accidentally singing in fast motion of the song. I'm actually singing it, and I put it in fast motion because it was a funny, funny thing, and it was also a long moment there of just doing the same thing over and over again. So let's go in this hut here and see what's in it. Hello, Mr. Sir. I remember you from the intro. If I actually watched the intro. Uh, must have got a pickaxe there. Oh, it's not actually a pickaxe, but still. If it was, it's a complainer of Minecraft. If it was, but it's not. Oh, he's awake. Me, Mumbo, best job man in all games. Can't help Banjo with filthy feathered one. Watch it, cut boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on the skull and press B to see my team Mumbo magic. Stand on it, like so. You gotta stand right here. Make sure you're standing. Press B. You can press optional buttons alongside that. And you're now a termite. Like all the rest. Mumbo's magic creates change back. You'll come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. That's, uh. That's that, this guy. So, we walk in this little kicking noise. I don't know why he does that. I, I hate that. It bothers me. But anyways. First thing you want to do as a termite. Go down here. It's easier as a termite. You can do it with banjo though. You can fall in there. Get that a uh, holly honeycomb. You cannot do it with the talon trot. So you have to do it as a termite. But also, you can climb the steeper slopes in here as well. So, that means they're off. What? Thank you! Climb around the wall. Yes, you can actually climb on this steep slopes. Hey, where did you get that? Those shorts. I want them. I'm not giving you my shorts. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. I actually remember, uh, what's that one guy's name? He does, like, funny banjo machinima. I can't remember his name. He's so old. It's, it's been forever since he's done anything. Well, he did a banjo machinima where he actually sold the shorts. It was hilarious. Give me that cool backpack or else. Well, actually, he sold his belt. He sold his belt buckle. And, uh, like his belt. And, uh, his, yeah, it's like, it's making fun of that one Christmas story bowl. And, uh, it's, it's funny because his pants keep falling down. He had to, like, censor it. It was so stupid. Ooh, extra life. Yeah, you can't grab that extra life, guys. If it's your first time playing this game, you're not going to do a good job grabbing that. And, that is the last jiggy in the level. And Banjo will dance if you're not a termite. Or falling. I wonder what happens if you're falling while you dance. That'd be awesome. You'd probably crash the game, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, actually, it wouldn't crash the game. You'd be standing there grabbing the jiggy first, so. So, make sure you're still a termite on your way out. 
You might need magic. Stop using taking your notes out the, off the world, but 100 is just you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 in each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. And by magical spells, Grunty, he just means bad programming. Okay, let's go on. See, that's rare for you. They can't do something in their programming days, they get excuse. A story excuse. So you need to be a turbine to grab that, remember. I have a little bit of a cold today, so. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Mumbo magic get weak. Is it Verizon? Magic all gone. Must back. Must turn back to bad and bird. Now. Oh, I think he just said must back. I don't know. Plus, people don't like Mumbo's accent. I think it's. I personally think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's, it really gives the characters more character. They're not all just people that talk. There we go. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful magic spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect some musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note then best note scores in the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Best note store what? I said best note stores. What the flying dolphins? Any really little dance is awesome. This is how awesome this game is. That door wasn't easy. It was not easy to get past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. That was a. Uh, I'm having trouble seeing the screen right now, so I can't read the things very well. So down here is uh, what's this? This mysterious little thing. Oh, oh it's Big Boss. No I'm kidding. When you open a world door, baddies escape and room once more. And what she means is when you unlock a level and you go into it, you leave it. Uh, basically, the enemies from that level are walking around outside the level. It's just nothing really that magical or anything. <laughs> There's a mumbo token back there. Grab that. You was activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color. It creates a shortcut. So that's gonna be like a teleporter, and you always start at the beginning of the man of the of the lair when you make it when you start the game up. So you might wanna activate all those. The shortcuts really do help. And a little bit of more a little more beta info. Some of these pictures here, these pictures are always of the enemies. But sometimes they're enemies that aren't in the game. So if anyone has an idea what these mysterious this mysterious face right here is, leave that in the comment section below. I think it's possibly like the giants from the beta of this game. What's this here we got here? Oh, another puzzle. To remove pieces that you've already put down, press that down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. So, uh, one more puzzle and we're going to know how to put the puzzles together properly. Uh, till then. Treasure Trove Cove, the second level of this game, which I will be recording tomorrow. Well, recording tomorrow, at least. Uh, well, actually, you guys are going to see it tomorrow with your standards, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Unless I have a shit ton of space in my hands, which I don't. Um, you're not, you're not going to see it today. Uh, let's go in here. I have some stuff to see in here, too. And that's going to be the end of the stuff we're going to see. Because I don't want to spoil anything here. I'm not supposed to spoil. So over here, it's another magic cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Right? The same thing as last time. So this one's red. And the other one was pink. But they're not going to create a shortcut. It's going to bounce us back out. But if we find another red one or another pink one, we will create a shortcut between the two. It is not randomized. It is the same every freaking time. So the shortcuts are pre-made, meant to go to a certain place. The red one will go to the final level of the game, the final area, and the pink one will lead to about halfway through the game. Where, well, also the green one will lead between two well, two rooms that have like a very dangerous trap in them, and the yellow one will just lead to the end of the game between a very long and maze-like room. So that's all I'm gonna say. And. Uh, yeah, the yellow one's basically like kind of like a way to skip past 
let's just say it's like the Pasco Kiri Forest. Yeah, we'll relate it to that. So maybe we can put down here. So we can get it in time. Come on, come on, come on. Good. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there, Rando. Don't go in here, guys. Don't go in here. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. I'll see you next episode. And, uh, bye.